I remember Adam used to like, you know, you could see Adam liked him. Yes, but he, he was liked like, him, but yet he knew he didn't he was, want to let him go off. He he, he didn't want to. He wanted to keep him a little under control. And Adam was, a, you know, Adam was a. He was a lot of fun on that movie. He was. He was a. He was. A, I mean, I remember him always being in a pretty good mood in that movie. He was, you know, he he, he was the ringleader, but he kept everybody. Everybody happy. I mean, he just seemed very happy in them when he was doing all those guys being around. That there was so much to be around. But I, 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 like I said, I was with you, Lobo. I mean, thank God I didn't. You couldn't get too involved. With, there was too much to that. <coughs> Let me tell you something, brother. I'm not. I have no. You know. Plus, I was. You well, know, well, I was. I was. I was fucking focused. I was. Well, I lived in Seattle. It was '97, and his movies were coming out. And they were hitting, and I had dear friends who were into them. And I went to their house, and I watched them, and I go, no. I, I can't, didn't know. I can't deal with this shit. This is terrible. Right. And the years passed, and I boycotted them in my mind. It wasn't my type of humor. Right. Everything changed the moment I shook his hand the first time. I felt so guilty with myself. Yeah. Because... Well, because you had preconceptions about him. I had tremendous and, preconceptions about him. And you probably said, this, this guy's not... I think I had said the same kind of thing. When I but... walked out of that car, and he picked up my fucking luggage with flip-flops on, a pair of shorts, and a T-shirt, and walked me up the stairs and told me about what was about to happen, and it's great to have you, blah, yep. blah, 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 you're all packed, you're ready to First go. First class all the way, guys. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah. He took us into that room, Yep. and we did the table read. The we table first read, went to the table opened read. Opened the door, he was so... We sat in there, there was off. food in the back. I remember sitting in between Burt Reynolds. You were at the end of the table. Yeah, I was yeah. all the way in the back with I saw you. Warriors come out to play. Oh, Patrick, yeah. John Baker. I was with yeah. him. Good actor. I was with Michael, <laughs> because I knew Michael uh, Irvin from the Best Damn Sports Show. Okay. In fact, there's a tape of me roasting Tom Arnold going off. Really? On that whatever channel that was on, uh, Fox Sports Fox. One. Yeah. There's a there's a tape of me somewhere. I, I auditioned for that show. Which one? Best damn sports show. Oh please. Got hit in the fucking kneecap by Jim Lampley, swinging a bat. That was the audition. In the audition, he was swinging a bat. Talking about the movie sixty one and took a full swing and smashed me right in my fucking kneecap. And I had just had pneumonia. I think I was in shock. And Deacon Jones, everybody was in shock. I go, you all right, kid? Everybody stopped. I don't know. I, I just I was like I didn't feel well and I said, I just want to get out of here. And he he smashed me in the knee. He swung he didn't realize he was sitting so close to me. I screamed right on the set. <laughs> it was fucking crazy. Crazy. I should have fucking laid down and sued Fox. Should have fucking played dead, but I was just like, get me out of here, get me out of here. I was coming out of some illness, and I just was like, I don't know. I, I just, I couldn't even speak. Producers were like, hey, talk, talk. And I was like, I just didn't want to be there. I just did the audition because I wanted to get out of the house. I had been sick and all this shit. But getting back to the long and short, Adam was great. My, did you go to... My mother had a heart attack, and yes, Adam could have been nicer. Now, did you go to New Mexico right from the table where he was? I went pretty soon, and that's okay. when my mom had the heart attack, and then I had to go back. And then and then he said, yeah, go ahead. Don't worry. And set my mother. I met you on the van ride on the way back is where we got kind of Is that where we met? You were headed back to for your mother's thing. We, were, yeah. we had just gotten there. We had just been, got there. We had just gotten there. I went out for a pass, and, and the ball, I stole my finger to this day. It never healed. Some guy threw me a pass, and... It jammed it like he threw a fucking hundred mile per hour pass, and my finger never fucking healed right. <laughs> Unbelievable. Then I almost broke my foot when I fell off Bob Sack. If you remember, I did half the movie with like a broken foot. You remember, I hurt my foot. That's right. I fell off the fucking thing. I was supposed to do that mud scene with Adam. That was in the original movie, and I couldn't do the scene. We we had to do that mess hall scene because in the original movie. They have a fight in the swamps. It's and the you guy, and him, and you threaten me and them for push-ups. Yeah. Then you put mud in his and pants. And I, I put mud in his pants. He puts mud. And that fucking scene, we could not do because I couldn't, I could only limp. I was in, I was in agony. I was coming to work every day with the fuck on the crutches. So I fell off his back and I had a bone contusion on my heel. And I couldn't do that. They were like, this kid can't do the fight. I couldn't even run through the tires. 
Some tall fucking dude is. If you look at it, it's a tall guy. That I mean, was the double. Yeah, the double. yeah, the double. One of the doubles, and then I come out of the tire. But uh, no, Adam was great. He was just. He was. He was like way different than you would have ever thought. You know, I had heard guys that worked with him. Then my brother worked with him and said he's a great guy. And I had other guys that he's really a good guy. And um, you know, and the nice thing about him was he let people shine. He did. You know, if he knew you were funny, he passed you the ball. He threw you the ball. He gave you a shot. I mean, he, he gave me a legitimate shot. That that part was nothing on paper. And then it became like, it became like a part. It became something. From right after the first scene with me and you, the half of me ball, he came over to me. He fucking came over to me. I had the haircut. And he goes, dude, you're fucking funny, dude. You're a funny dude. And I was just, you know, I, I was just going there trying to create a character. I wasn't thinking about anything because... It's a million years. That was a funny scene, you know. Tree out, you know, you doing the tree out, and I come over there. Yeah, for me, ball, whatever I said. See, that was my first day. Yeah, that was like the that first. That was my first real day. But I was down there for a week. Oh, you were? And I would wake up, and I'd be in the hotel room. Ah. I'd go downstairs, eat breakfast, go back up, smoke a joint, and then about two, I would be hungry. And I'd call the set, and they'd send the shuttle over to get me and drive me to the set. I go over there, shake a few hands, hang out with Ivan, get some chicken breast or whatever the fuck they were eating. That was great. Eat like a gavo. Yeah, you could go eat and go back to yeah, the hotel. Yeah, then when I was ready, give me a shuttle back ride to the hotel. And then we get a box to go. The big fat dude would give you a box of chicken and whatever you want. Oh, man. Yeah. And you went back to your I room mean, and you watched TV and nobody bought And you, I did that for the first five You got to understand, days. we got treated like kings. You don't get treated like that today on other movies. You know, fed, you know, I mean, no, but not like that. That was Adam treated everybody great.